So last week I made a video review on Speedway Junkie and I had seen that someone had uploaded the entire movie on YouTube for free. So I recommended it in my uh, review saying that you guys should uh, check it out, you know, because it's ad free if you guys want to watch this movie. But I didn't click on it till after and I saw that it was dubbed in German. I'm not sure who the fuck some German guy loved that movie enough. I didn't think anybody really watches it. so obscure. But um, enough people click on it, they think it's English, so I figured, and I had no problems copywriting um, with copyright infringement uploading my video. I figured I might as well upload the entire movie since I have it already on my computer because I want people to watch it. And um, yeah, so uh, as a, tell me what you guys think about this movie. And uh, just as a thank you to me, just subscribe to this channel and uh, you guys can uh, check out my review on it, on the movie. So uh, enjoy one of my favorite movies of all time, directed by Nicholas Perry, starring uh, Jesse Bradford, Jordan Brower, and Jonathan Taylor Thomas, uh, Speedway Junkie. I'm out of quarters. Can I get some more? Sorry, dear. We are fresh out. Got no more quarters. You can't just take them out of the machine? Well, the owner has the key. And besides, we prefer to listen to music this early in the morning. I'm going under Hell. Out of plates. Go to Vegas? I gotta drop off these eggs first. I can give you a hand. I ain't looking for no handouts. All right. Get in.
Yeah, hi. 20 bucks worth of quarters, please. Here you are. Thank you kindly. I'm on my way to Charlotte. Got to make some money so I can get there. I'm going to be a race car driver. That's nice. Well. Hope you're a winner. Thank you. in the hotel, sir? Yes, I am. Gotta go around the front entrance. Oh, come Can't on, come in cool. I just, I, I just oh, got sir. fucking robbed! Ow! Hi, I'm sorry to bug you. Um, I just had all my money ripped off by this chick who I thought was cool, and it turned out she wasn't. And so I, I need enough to, uh, please. Okay, I need, I need like twenty bucks, and it would really help. Just, I'll work for you. All right, I'll, I'll mow your lawn, I'll paint your house, whatever you need, anything. Leave in love at first sight. Come back again. No. How about this one? You want to go for a donut and a fuck? What? You don't like donuts? You see, pick up lines that work for reals. I mean, I don't know what you're trying to do with this lady right here, but it didn't look like it was working. Ah, right, here's another good one. It's simple. Straightforward and usually works the best. Just ask the person for a shake. Like this. Um, excuse me, do you have an extra shake? Uh, no. Here we go. Didn't you uh, talk about whatever bullshit comes to mind? Like, uh, pollution? Need a light? I don't smoke. Have it back. I wish I was, I'm not a smoker. I practically spend all my money on cigarettes anyways. It's bad, huh? Non-smoking. That's cool. You're with friends or family? By myself, I'm, uh... <clears throat> I'm trying to get to North Carolina, but I lost all my money here, so... Where'd you lose it? It was stolen by this fucking chick. <laughs> he got jacked by a chick? Oh, that's the worst. That's the worst. I'm gonna get a job tomorrow, though. Oh, me and my friends are just kicking it over here. If you wanna come by and see what's going on. I guess. Eric. Johnny. Stop! 
man. Someone gonna pop your little gangsta ass walking around like a fool and shit. Yeah? Yeah. Who's gonna do it? You, motherfucker! That's right, I'll bring your nappy ass down. Welcome to Vegas, motherfucker! <laughs> Damn, fool! Ha ha ha! That's real funny! How did you like it, huh? 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 So don't ever point that shit in my face again. Got it? Where we score this shit at? Bought it from Toy World. Had to spray it black because it was all orange and shit. Hey, where'd you score the fat low rider, Scoo? It's a loan. Let's cruise. Do I look like a fucking taxi to you? Is there like a dome and shit on top that says Scooby gives free rides and shit? I don't think so. Yo, get in the fucking car, pet boy. All aboard, there's plenty of room. Hey, Johnny, come with us. You know, nah, I can't. I can't. Hold on, kitties. Well, I'm Waller and Squirrel, blind out of one eye. I wouldn't get the same shit if you like me. I'm the ugly side of a glamorous life. I'm the cold side of a shark knife. Swim past the fire, and the less I want to be, the more I want to be. Mom makes some fresh waffles. First, takes a layer of batter, puts it in the grill, right? Takes a layer of peanut butter, puts that on top. Another layer of batter, closes it up. When it comes out, it's all crispy on the outside, but it's like gooey and peanut butter on the inside. It's totally awesome. I think she invented it. How old are you? How old do you think I am? I guess uh, 17, 19 tops. This says you're 31. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Well, I'm old enough to vote. <laughs> Want some of Breakfast is my favorite meal. My mom used to make a uh, big breakfast for me every Saturday morning. Where do you live? Uh, Fort Irwin, before that Fort Benning, before that Fort Knox. Fort Knox are the best women. I live in Henderson. You want to see my home? Is it cool? Oh, it's beautiful. All paid for. Thanks, but you know, I can't. I really can't. And thanks for breakfast too. But I gotta go find a job today. It sucks, yeah. What What do you do? Whatever pays. You don't say. Well, I have some work that needs to be done on my home. Perhaps we could go there right now and take a look. I don't know. Um, I really got to uh, make some money fast, you know, because I got to get to Charlotte, North Carolina by this weekend. I'm going to be a race car driver, so. <laughs> Is this something you've done before? Sort of. And you need money to get to the racetrack. I, I, I follow you. Well, I could pay you well for your labor. Really? Well, I mean... As long as you're paying me, you know, as long as I'm working for it. I don't want no handouts. Check. You know, you wouldn't believe the people that are messing them in here. Bunch of losers. <laughs> Normally, I don't trust anybody over 25. And I can tell you're at least 30. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you seem cool. You know, you seem all right. I appreciate that, Jack. And I appreciate your honesty. Believe me, I know what you've been thinking this entire time, but you're wrong. There are factors involved here. Hygiene, for one. 
There's also the matter of politics, sex, sexual politics, which I don't care to be a part of. Because what I'm trying to say is that every person has a special thing about them that makes them who they are. Do you follow me? For instance, you are honest. And that one thing makes you who you are. I tip well. That's my one thing. But we're also alike in that we both have special interests that other people don't have. Uh, you want to race cars, Johnny. And me? Well, I'm, I'm into something else. I'll help you do your thing if you help me do my thing. Sound like a plan? Stop the car. Now there's no need to jump to conclusions. Stop the fucking car! Stop! 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 Hell, you pervert! Fuck! Perverts and liars and everything fucking left! believe what that guy wanted me to do. It was so disgusting. I can't even, I can't even believe it. He, he wanted me to, he wanted me to sit and bark like a bitch. God, don't even say it. Yeah, that's Russell, big time king. You know that guy? How much was he gonna pay? I didn't ask. Hell, whatever it was, it wasn't enough. He was, I, I knew I shouldn't have trusted him. I knew it. He was, it, he was 40, at least 40. God. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I'm totally, I'm fucked. You want to hang out tonight? Why? What do you fucking want from me? Nothing. Just, just thought you want, might want to hang out or something. That's all. <laughs> Shut up! It's not funny. I'm in love. Uh, it's obvious that Pez boy has mad feelings for this woman. <laughs> Damn right. Wait, this is, is this the one from that party? Yeah, it's the last desert party. Her name's Tracy, and she's totally the bomb in every way. She's a raver like me. Her favorite fruit is gummy peaches like me. And we both think happy hardcore is the ultimate, but she's older. I think she wants to hang out, but I can never tell. She's always front. How old is she? She's 18 and a total hottie. I've seen her. I'd say she's a naughty. Shut up, Eric. <laughs> Johnny, how you living? <laughs> uh, doing all right. <laughs> no, man, you gotta say something cool. Like what? Like living lives. Chilling like a villain. <laughs> See, Johnny, you got two things to pick from. Living large, chilling like a villain. So, Johnny, how you living? Uh... Living like a villain. <laughs> Evening, losers. Oh, shit. It's only the president. Get fucked in the ass tonight, Eric? Yeah, by your dad. Bitch gave twice. <laughs> Ladies, you don't mind, do you? So, what are you boys up to tonight? Nothing illegal, I hope. Oh, no. It's good. You got a sec? Naturally. Hey, yo, yo, yo. OK. Check it. Try and say toy boat ten times really fast. Toy boat. Toy boat. Don't you guys have some homework to do? So, uh, Steven, why aren't you kicking it at that rich tricks place you keep bragging about? 
because I had other business to attend to tonight. Streets are changing, man. These fucking metro cops are everywhere. Someone's putting pressure on those motherfuckers to jack the shit out of us. I don't know who, but the shit's getting serious. I need a change of scenery, thinking about heading back to La La Land. What's stopping you? Well, some of us are making too many duckies to bail at the present time. But this bullshit with the local law enforcement is seriously cutting down on my disposable income. What are you so worried about? You're gonna be famous, right? Working it as we speak. Steve's gonna buy a big house in the desert so we can party every fucking day. <laughs> Parties by the pool, baby. Did I ever tell you about that time that rich trick dragged me out to that crazy-ass pool party? <laughs> Get this, bitch didn't even want to fuck me, just wanted to hang out. Picture me sitting around, bunch of queens sipping strawberry, daiquiris, pina coladas. It was beautiful. I scored a $200 tip that night. Wow. Oh, we need beer. Somebody hook us up? I'll go. Go to a place behind the Flamingo parking structure. The Korean guy's down. Your fake ID. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go too. Cold weather's bad for your kidneys. You know that? No. Nah. I'm gonna die if I don't get a sick suit. I'm gonna die if I don't eat something soon. Hey, who, who's that cute chick sitting by Scooby? Which one? The real cute one. Oh, it's, it's Kelly. Hottie. I want to throw a beat so bad. Damn! <laughs> hey, what was up with that one guy, too? Steven? The dickhead? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did he really do all that What's shit? Up, fool? He... What's up, JT? Not a damn thing. Who's this? Oh, this is this is Johnny from uh, last night. He's down. You better be. Jason Torres. Hey, yo, JT? Because cash money. Got that? Yeah, all right. You got yeah, that? Hey, what's up, man? You guys hungry? Thirsty? Yeah, I thought I told you not to come in here anymore. Hey, go the grab some of them bags doing? over there, Get man. Get out of here. You want. It's on me. Get out of here. I'm calling the cops. I'm calling right now. Hey, now I told you before. You get the fuck out of here. Hey, man, I'm fuck calling you, man. man We're fuck thirsty. you. Fuck you. We're I'm thirsty. calling the cops. I'm calling the cops right now. Hey, yo, man. O.E. cool? Cool? Get your punk ass friends out of here. You do. Get out of here. Right now, goddammit. I'm calling the goddamn cops. I'm calling them right now. Get the fuck out of here. Where the hell do you think you're going? Oh, Johnny, I can't that guy. Hey, I don't know if you can crash here tonight, but you're totally welcome to stay at my place if you want. Cool. Thanks. It's not a good night tonight. Larry's gonna be up. Can we just, just hang out? Uh, yeah, come on. Hi, I'm Johnny. Uh, yeah, Hi. that's that's Johnny. Oh, uh, make yourself sound. Hey, Johnny. Come here, let me show you something. That's my mom. Wow, that's cool. Where's she at? Oh shit. I forgot to buy smokes. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. You're in your face around here. How come you're not in school? Dropped out. School sucks. Where are you from? Fort Irwin, before that Fort Benning, before that Fort Knox. Fort Knox had the hottest women. My dad's a colonel, so it's kind of like being in the army, so it's like taking the shit I left. What kind of shit? Telling you what to do all the time, telling you how messed up you are. Shit like that, you know? So you decided it was time to leave for good? That's right. Got any brothers or sisters? I got a sister. 
she's younger. She's one of the reasons why I want to be a race car driver. I want to be able to take care of her. She's deaf. You'll be a race car driver? Yep. Stock cars. That's why I want to go to Charlotte. That's where all the best people are. I'm going to work for uh, Richard Petty's team. He's the best. So you figured you'd just come into town, make some quick money, and be on your way? Kind of. At least you could do whatever you want here. That's cool. Is it? <laughs> Definitely. My dad didn't give a shit about me. Now I can do whatever I want. So I'm making money. I'm going to Charlotte, and that's it. How are you going to do that? Make money. Do whatever I got to do. I'll do what Steven does. Yeah, he doesn't even know what Steven does. So what? I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I'm not dumb. I can make money. Just like anybody else, I'm gonna. Johnny, you have no idea what you're talking about. You sound like my fucking parents. I just don't want you to get jacked, idiot. I know what I'm doing. I stole some jimmies from that store and everything. If somebody wants me to do something that I don't want to do, I'll just leave. That's it. No big deal. I want to tell you a story, Johnny. Right after I had to stop dancing, I went through some really bad times. This was before my boyfriend pulled me out of all that shit and saved my life. But I thought the way that you do now, I thought I'd make some easy money, get a lot of attention. It was like that for a while, too. You know? Anyway, this one night, I was picked up by this guy in this brand new Ford Explorer. It was a really nice car, you know. He was in his late 30s and he said that he was in town for a couple of days for some big computer software convention and that he wanted to have a good time. So I asked him what he was into and he said that he was into killing people. <laughs> I didn't pay attention to what he said because I knew the guy was drunk. He had a bunch of bottles in the back seat and Anyway, uh, you know, I figured he was just trying to scare me. I've heard that kind of thing before. Some people get off on that kind of thing. Fear makes them horny. So I asked the guy um, where we were going to go, and he said that it was a surprise. And I said I didn't really like surprises and that I'd feel a lot better if he just pulled over. But he didn't. So I... Uh, I knew he was heading up the strip towards the freeway and I had to do something pretty quick so I told the guy that I was a junkie and if I didn't get a fix real soon that I was going to throw up all over his brand new beautiful car <laughs> and that did it so he pulls into this little place behind the gas station. So anyway I tell the guy that I'm feeling a little better but that I still need to fix up and he says okay but he would like to see what I look like down there. So he tells me to lean back and relax, which I did. He tells me to close my eyes, which I did. I don't even really remember what happened that clearly, but I was just, I was kicking him and punching him and hitting him, and I pushed the door open on the car, and then I started running down the street. I don't even remember when I stopped, but when I did stop, I looked down and I noticed that my jacket was torn. And I look inside and there is blood everywhere. I'd been stabbed in the chest, and I didn't even know it. I guess there was so much adrenaline pumping through my veins that it took the pain away. He told me that the knife had hit a rib, and that if it had just been a little higher, it would have cut my heart. I figured the guy missed because he was drunk. You never told me that story, Veronica. I haven't told you a lot of stories. Late. I'm gonna hit the sack. Nice to meet you, Johnny. Nice to meet you. Good night, boys. The Apollo 11 spacecraft thrust into space. The total payload is equivalent to 4,000 pounds and...
the hell? What? Are you gay or something? I, I wouldn't say that. I knew it. I fuck, I knew it. You, you wanted to get busy with me. That's why you helped me. God, so dumb. No, it's, it's not like that at all. I, I, I just, I just thought. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. Everybody here wants to take advantage of me and have sex with me, so fuck everybody. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make money however I can. I'm getting a Charlotte, and that's. I can't believe you lied to me. I didn't. You never asked me if I like girls. Larry, Veronica's boyfriend. He's a, he's a metro cop. Actually, after he busted her for prostitution, they started going out. So it's, it's all really secret. You're the weirdest people I've ever met in my whole life. Johnny! You okay? Yeah. Want some help or something? No, I'm, I'm fine. I just, I just um, I just got married. Wow! <laughs> wow! Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Hell, I was worried for a sec. You looked so sad a minute ago. I was, but um, but I'm okay now. <laughs> <laughs> I was viral. I'm I'm Wilma Garrett Price. I'm I'm really sorry for the display earlier. Wilma, like the Flintstones. Hey, yeah. Johnny, it's nice to meet you. Wait, wait a second. What time do the liquor stores close around here? It's about four in the morning, right? Uh. Because I, I plan to drink about a thousand wine coolers, so I I better run. It was nice talking to you. Bye. <laughs> Do you drink wine coolers? One piece unit got back two days ago. He had already made up his mind without even talking to me that right now was the time to officially tie the knot. I mean, I wanted to a year ago, but it wasn't the right time for him. So when he said, let's do it, I mean, what was I supposed to say? Let's wait another year? Hell no. I mean, he had three days leave. Can you imagine that? Three days and he's right back out again. I mean, I didn't have time to prepare one little bit. When we got to the chapel this morning, there was all these couples lined up. So embarrassing. See, I always thought that when I finally marry the man that I love, that it would be something really special. Not like these. Not Las Vegas. I mean, our families weren't even invited. Of course, his buddies were here. And to top it off, they, they insisted on having the bachelor party and our honeymoon on the same night. Of course, the, the party on the lake was much more important than spending the night with his bride. I mean, who cares if we already lived together? He didn't even ask me how I felt. And the funny thing is that I could live without a fancy wedding. I really could. I just wanted us to be alone tonight. If you ever get sick of him, you can come to North Carolina and live with me. You're such an angel. You really are.
Thank you. I'm so glad we met, Wilma. Ever since I got here, it's just been the worst time of my life. I got all my stuff stolen. All the people I've met, every one of them has been crazy in some way. See? See, this is what I'm talking about. He's been earning hazardous duty pay for months, and what does he do when he has time to spend it? Just leaves it right here on the dresser. I don't want to talk about him no more. Sure. When's he getting back? He's supposed to have the voting by sundown tomorrow. So we have plenty of time. Do you want to take yours off now? I'm all yours. What do you want me to do? Well, whatever you prefer. I, I trust you. Just go slow in the beginning, okay? Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Been like, I just don't want to mess anything up. Well, why don't you start by taking the rest of your clothes off? Sure. Just turn the light out. If you want. Hey, honey. Let's. Uh, no, 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 Pete, Pete, wait, Pete, Pete, no, wait, wait, Pete. Fire your ass, honey! No, no, Hi. no, Pete! Breakfast ready, Mom! Nothing that terrible could be real. What are you doing here? I, I live here. This is my place. You, uh, don't remember nothing? It's a little blackout, huh? Want to see something funny? Look. It's not funny. <laughs> I've seen worse. Where's my shirt? I tossed it. You tossed my shirt? You should have seen it. All covered with barf bits and blood samples and shit. Really gross. It smelled all vinegar tutti fruity too. Ugh. Before I woke up. I was dreaming that I was at home. My mom made me breakfast. It was so realistic. You want breakfast? I got this cereal here. I uh, picked it up because it has a race car driver on the front. Turkey red. It's good. You don't have to eat now if you don't want to. I could try. <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, that's what you put your ball on. Like a platform. Oh. Here we go. I got you a spoon here. Don't worry, it's clean. Jacked it from McDougal's last night. And I wasn't sure what kind of milk you was wanting, so I got you a little fat. It's usually a safe bet. But I can't drink milk because I got that lactose disease and I might die. Here. I just want to say, um, I'm sorry for what I said. All right. I really appreciate you helping me out and everything. Yeah, it's no problem. I mean, I don't really think you're weird or whatever. You never know. I mean, I could try knocking on you right here. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. You know, I don't really remember anything. It's bizarre. Like, how did I get here and stuff? What happened exactly? Oh, you mean after you got beat down? Yeah. Melanie and Kelly found you. And they got me and we brought you back here. Like two days ago. Two days? How long have you lived here? Uh, not two months, I think. I get bored being in the same place. I like to move around a lot. Go camping? <sighs> no, actually, I like to have extra chow. Just in case. Like, if I had an accident, I couldn't work anymore. I like to know I won't starve. Or for holidays. Definitely for holidays. Plus, Plus, I like soup. Your soup's a bomb. Very healthy. Yeah, very healthy. With crackers, of course. You've got to have the crackers with tomato soup. Oh, my God. It's best. I mean, I don't even need to be sick to eat that crap. Is there a place around here with real cheap rent that I can stay at while I'm working? What do you mean? Do we kick it here? No, I can't stay. I can't stay. You have one, one bed. No. Oh, it's it's no problem, I'll just sleep on the floor. On the floor? No way, your, this is your place. Really? I don't mind. I'll just, just spread out my clothes and I'll sleep on top of them. Actually, it's a lot more comfortable than the mattress. Really? You should kick it here. All right, I'll stay. But as soon as, soon as I make some money, I'm gonna pay you back, all right? All right. All right, this is a major cruise area right here. Kind of sucks for me because guide tricks are totally opposite. Inexperience in youth is what they're looking for mostly. Sometimes I think they're like vampires searching for the fountain of youth. It's draining. It's fucking draining. I mean, I feel so old sometimes. But you know, I gotta keep looking young and inexperienced for the tricks, which won't last forever. Maybe you should switch to girls. <laughs> yeah, right. You're really just not attracted to girls at all, huh? Not even just a little bit, not even, not even some money? No. Man. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. But like I said, this is a major fucking cruise area, so. Yeah, all right. You gotta keep that in mind. All right. I really look hard. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, check it out. What? Steven just scored. Look at you when you talk, but I don't seem to hear a single word you spit. I wish I was a little bit humanly senseless. What's up, Steven? You show my feelings just a little bit more. My face is made out of stone, I got dirt. This is what the fuck's up. It scored big time. Ah. Oh. Hey, the kitty got the beat down, huh? Can't even fucking imagine, bro. Keep your head up. So, uh, Steven, since you're Mr. Big Time on the strip these days, I thought you could give young Johnny here some tips on how to score with straight women. Well, you've come to the right place. Cops are stupid, Johnny. Keep that in mind. When a woman picks you up, first thing, start by checking the rearview mirror. There'll always be at least one cop watching if it's any kind of sting at all. Ask her to make a couple turns, they hate that shit. They'll also say shit like, what are you doing out here on the streets? How long have you been out here? You know, acting all concerned. 
Then they'll grab your dick. And you know what I do when they do that? I look at them right in the eyes and I say, suck it, baby. <laughs> so either they do or they pull the fuck over real quick. You see, Johnny, real tricks are way too afraid to do anything at all. Also, never ever be the first one to bring up money. That's what those fucking cops are waiting to hear and that's when they jack your ass. If they don't bring it up, you know they're playing you and you don't have time for that shit. You see, most women are beautiful, sensitive little flowers who have been forced into paying for sex by their small dick, pussy ass little husbands. By breaking the law, they're getting back at that asshole. Or she could be a horny bitch. <laughs> So, uh, you completely straight or what? Of course. Yeah, aren't you? Well, personally, I dig women. But when it comes to work, it's simply a matter of cash flow. You see, Steven's bisexual. Buy him something and he'll have sex. <laughs> I'm a businessman, Johnny. Customer always comes first. <laughs> Hey, what's up, fools? Hey, hold this. Hey, you kids. Did you just see a short Mexican kid run through here? Uh, yeah, he went that way. No shit. Yeah. Go, partner. Go, 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 You okay? I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You smoked a lot of cigs last night. <laughs> hey, what was in that bag that JT threw to you? Johnny. Nice car, Scoob. What's up, Mickey? Yeah. What's up, Trish? Hey. New car, Scoob? Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Yo, I heard you got beat down. I quote Tupac, keep your head up, don't get fed up. <laughs> Goth Brooks, you too, Slade. Madonna. Give it to me, Scooby. Take it. Any other CDs down there? Oh, dope. Let's go for a ride, kids. Shotgun. Hey, Johnny. This is Mickey and Trish. Hello. Yo, Scoob, where are we going? Desert. Cool. Hey, you want to see that, Johnny? Bitch, we're already in a hot fucking auto. 
though. But no, that's not good enough for you. Got knocked off the fucking convenience store too. Ah. Want a beer, Scooby? Not a doubt. John boy. Yeah. You can drive my car anytime. <laughs> Last beer, any takers? Nah. Nah, I'm cool. Hey, I'm gonna go for a walk. I'll come. Coming, Scoop? Nah. I'm gonna stay here and smoke this sticky shit. <laughs> <laughs> so did you ever have a girlfriend? Uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Did you? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. When did you first, uh, like, realize, you know, when did you first know that you were... Um, when I was in the second grade, I, I kept trying to kiss all the boys in my classroom. <sighs> and yeah, I, I got in trouble all the time, too. But one day, my teacher called my mom in for a conference and told her that I was confused because I kept walking into the girls' bathroom. And my mom, she, she was totally embarrassed and didn't let me hang with any other kids in the neighborhood for a long time. You know, she, she was just really scared. Anyways, my mom left me when I was 10 and I went to live with some other people and it only got worse. When was the first time you boned a chick? None of your business. Come on. I just told you my whole personal private experience. No big deal. I'll tell you whatever you want to know about me. I don't want to know nothing about being gay or whatever. Well, just tell me and I won't bug you anymore. Was she was she fat? Was she skinny? Uh, hairy? Or hairless? Or, uh... Shut up! I'll... If you promise not to tell anybody, I will tell you, all right? I promise. done stuff with women before, all right, but I've never actually completely gone all the way. You're a virgin? No. No. I mean, I wouldn't say that. I, I, like I said, I've done stuff with girls before. I mean, that should, that should cancel out the fact that I've never completely... <laughs> but you're still a virgin. Shut up. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. And you want to hustle women for money? Yeah. Are you crazy? Have you ever given a woman an orgasm? Yeah, of course, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, it was dark. All right, someday I'm gonna. All right, someday. You know, I'm gonna help you find a real job. Why? Can I ask you a question? Why do you want to be a race car driver so bad? Because it's exciting. Because it's just you and the car, you know? Because 
because you got a crew that's uh, always looking out for you, watching your back, making sure you don't get hurt. Because you got a bunch of fans that love you, even though you lose most of the time. Because you can make lots of money, so you can help out the people you care for. Because you, you you can't be a flake. You got to be dependable. You got to be there all the time. Yeah. You know, all I want in life is is to find someone I can care for and love, and will be there for me if I if I get sick or injured. That's all. Yeah, I guess that'd be cool too. Oh my gosh. Damn, it's cold. You wanna go? No. Let's go. Hey, uh, you got a cigarette, partner? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks. You're trying to give me a trick. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. Oh, hey, I I'm Bud. Lock the beer. <laughs> Ain't got nothing yet. Nope. Not a one. Reckon uh, nobody wants a real cowboy in this town? Damn fakes. Hey, uh, you like my hat? Cool. Yeah. I like it too. You know why? Well, uh, it's because it holds something very special in it. And, uh, <laughs> I don't mean my fancy mug, neither. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah! <laughs> One dude peed his drawers when I zapped him. Damn, I'm gonna try to feel my butt. You feel my butt? Yep. Put that away. Shit. Thanks for the cigarette. Vegas. Cobwebs in the rain. Making patterns as we walk down Lover's Lane. Last to the fuzzy navels, amigo. See that each new step is somehow preordained. I'm in love with Johnny. I've not traveled this way before. Does he know? No. Are you gonna tell him? Uh-uh. Oh, you're torturing yourself. I know. It's horrible. This time it's worse because I know I'll never get him. No, it's just constant pain and anguish. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, what did my mom tell me? She would say that men aren't worth spending emotions on, good or bad. She was a pragmatist. She believed that relationships come down to actions and outcome and everything else is just bullshit. I always wanted to agree with her. She just got fucked over by too many men. Yeah, me too. But you know what sucks the most? Is that I, I love someone who will never ever feel the same way about me. You know, not even a chance. It's the worst thing. I need a favor. Big one. Because it's not been like this before. There's no one following us. That's why you're checking. Uh, could you just turn at the next corner, please? Why? You're not the police, are you? No. No, no. Are you? Of course not. Whoa. 
Ooh. That's a view. You know I'm working, right? What do you mean? I'm working. I'm a hustler. Well, so am I. Wait, you can't, you can't, but you pick me up. So? I'm an entrepreneur. You wouldn't believe how much money I make off drunk frat boys with a few bucks in their back pocket. Anyway, why didn't you tell me that you were working? Because you're not supposed to. You're not supposed why didn't you say something? Oh, yeah, this is ridiculous. Hell! Would you like a lift back? Yeah, why not? Don't you boys look handsome? You do too. Hey, uh, do you know what time it is, Veronica? It's ten thirty. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be late. I uh, I I, I got a date at eleven. You're not staying for dinner? You didn't you didn't say nothing. I've got a date, French dude. Yeah, see you later. Come on in, Johnny. Come on. Come on. So what's your mom like? She's from Tennessee. And what do you like best about her? She laughs a lot. She's fair. She helps people with their problems. She's beautiful. I always wanted to have a kid. Eric's the closest thing I have. I would do anything for him. His mom and I were real good friends. She was a very complicated person, very independent, very... A lot of people didn't understand her, but she had a great heart. Sounds like Eric. Yeah. <laughs> he takes after her. Eric talks about you all the time, Johnny. He cares for you a lot. Yeah, I like him. He's cool. So how long have you been into racing cars? 
since I was about 12. I went to my first race when I was 10. How about you? What are you into? Nothing. <laughs> really? Not anymore. I used to dance, right? You're not into that anymore? I enjoyed it for a while, but things didn't work out the way I wanted them to. That sucks. I'm starting to have serious doubts about whether or not I'm going to make it to Charlotte. It seems like maybe uh, it's not worth going through all this just to get there. I'm going to keep trying, though. I'm not going to give up. If I could grant you one wish for your birthday, what would it be? Um, besides getting to Charlotte, uh, I would really like to give a woman an orgasm. <laughs> There's a lot of ways to make money in this city, Johnny. Working the streets just one option. Here's another. Say you get popped for some stupid shit like uh, jaywalking. In this county, they'll throw your ass in jail for that shit. Before you go, get an ace bandage, wrap it around your knee, get a shitload of tobacco and some rolling papers. You stick it up underneath there. Cops never bother to check it. Once you're in there, you're selling for 10 bucks a pop. Easy money. So you're saying that you'd go to jail just to make money? You gotta do what you gotta do. May have to meet you boys later. What happened? Johnny boy here. Howdy. Hi, what's your name? Johnny. You wanna go have a wild sex party? It's all good. Just
just long as you pay my brother's money cause he's tired of floating on your shit. I was real busy today. I didn't have time to call, all right? No, it's not all right. I got it back 100%, so you better come up with his money. Look, I have the money, I swear. I'll get it to you tomorrow morning, all right? Look, if you don't come up with his money, ain't no telling what's gonna happen to you. What'd you do with those girls? The question is not what did we do, it's what didn't we do. Check it. Two hundred and sixty bucks. Twenty bucks tip. Enough for a bus ticket, definitely. Definitely. The problem is, it doesn't account for the uh, hospitality you've shown me for putting me up and for feeding me and everything. I gotta make a little more money before I can bail with a clear conscience. Nah, you don't owe me nothing. You helped me out a lot. Nobody else would've done that for me. Best friend I ever had. Wanna go get something to drink? Nah, I'm fine. I'm just gonna hang here. I'll be back. Dude, this fucking staircase behind that new hotel and shit. Should have been there. My girl don't even let me out of here. Hi, you look a lot better since the last time I saw you. You found me after I got my ass kicked, right? Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, it's a good thing Mel and I came along when we did, because you know that guy he was gonna piss on your head. He's gonna piss on my head. Yeah, but his girlfriend stopped him. It was so weird. He just. Put his wiener back in his pants and walked away. You saved my life. <laughs> How can I ever repay you? See a movie with me tomorrow night. Movies are kind of lame. Yeah, I know. Well, uh, let's go to the arcade then. Okay. Are we gonna have fun? Uh huh. Of course. <laughs> Johnny, how you living? Uh, styling and profiling. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you like so many different kinds of music. I don't. I just jack them anyways. No way. No fucking way. What? I can't believe you have this. This is the most fucked up CD in the world. My dad listens to this. What is it? I, it's a surprise, all right? I'm gonna put it on. I don't like surprises. Now, you're gonna love this. You're gonna love it. Oh, no, yo, hurry, turn this shit off, yo. Johnny. Cowboy. Yo, I cannot have this permitted in my house. Alright, come on. Oh, no fucking way. Right, That's the most right. uncool right, shit right, I've ever on. seen. Eric, in my Eric life. come on. Come on. Look at this. Ha 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 ha!
for you. Set something up for us tonight. How long you been living here? Place is a bit small, don't you think? Uh, no, thanks. Yeah, it is a little. I mean, it, it's okay for now. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get a new place real soon, you know, me and Eric. I'm getting out of this town. Shit's fucking played out. I'd leave tonight if I could, just waiting for the right opportunity. Weren't you trying to get somewhere originally, like uh, New York or something? North Carolina, yeah. I'm still gonna go. I'm still going. Just gotta stick around here, make a little more money first. How long's that gonna take? A week? A month? Johnny, you got the skills to make this shit happen right now. Just need someone like me to point you in the right direction. What do you mean? I am talking about cold, hard cash. I know a lot of people in this town that would pay big money for guys like us. We're a rare commodity. You're talking about guys, though, right? Does it really matter? I mean, come on, last time I checked, the money was still great. I don't know about that. Guys pay more. Simple fact of life, Johnny. You could make more in one night than you would in an entire week. You could be in North Carolina this weekend. What would I have to do? Hang out, be cordial. Cordial? Yeah, you know, just be yourself. You can do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Let's go have some fun, make some money. Come on. I can't go right now, though. Why not? I already set it up. I told him you were into fast cars, fast women. They loved it. Let's go. I got to wait for Eric. She's going to be back here any second. You know, you should lose that guy. Seriously, he's going nowhere. He'll bring you down eventually. So you coming or what? Leave a note. No, no, no. Johnny, if you're going, we gotta go right now. Right. So is this gonna be like a party then? <laughs> like lots of people? Is it gonna be beer? Um, possibly. I hope so, man. That'd be cool. <laughs> Eric! What's up? What are you doing? What's the matter? It's my birthday. Uh, happy birthday! Hey, I'm legal now. Go to county. Yeah, next time I get jacked is the last time I get jacked. Johnny, we do not have time to fuck around here, all right? These guys are not going to wait for us. So let's go celebrate later. Come on. I'm staying. It's his birthday. This is work, Johnny. Look, I'm staying. What? Look, they're not going to pay unless it's the two of us, all right? I don't care. I'm not going. I need this fucking money, all right? Fucking losers. Big date, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Steven Strick's always pay the big bucks. Should have gone. What do you mean? Could have scored. That's all. You don't want to hang out on your birthday? No, it's okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go to bed. Hold up. What the fuck is your problem? Give it back. No. Give my coin back. What the fuck is wrong with you? Give it back to me. Fuck you. Give my fucking no. coin back. No. Fuck you. What the hell's your problem? Huh? Give Why my are fucking you coin acting back. like this? Cause it's my birthday. Cause I I love someone who will never understand how much I care about. You 
you talking about? Fuck you. I do care about you, okay? I fucking... Why do you think I stuck around? You need to make money. No, You're the best friend I've ever had in my life, Eric, okay? I've never had a friend like you before. I stuck around because I care for you, and I can't fucking stand to see you be here by yourself. This place sucks, all right? Just... You deserve to be someplace better. When I go to North Carolina, I'm gonna make a lot of money. And I want you to come with me. Okay? I want you to come live with me, and I want you to be my roommate in Charlotte, all right? You know, why can't you just act like a normal person and reject me? I mean, you make it so fucking difficult. I'm sorry. Right, but I'm serious. Let's fucking get the hell out of here. Tomorrow, let's go. I can't. Why? We don't have enough money. We can hitch a ride. No, I can't leave Veronica. <sighs> She'll understand. You can call her. I'll buy you a phone car. Come on. All right. I'm not gonna leave till you give my silver dollar back. Get that anyway. My mom gave it to me. It's all I got to remind me of her. Brings me good luck. Come on. I just want to tell you, I had the bomb time tonight. I mean, you're like perfect for me. Thanks. All I could think about all night is how much I want to kiss you. <laughs> well, can I? Can I kiss you? All right. Where's Eric and Johnny? Oh, you're back. I haven't seen them. Yo, what about Steven? You seen him? Uh-uh. Yo, we tell those guys I'm looking for him. They got my shit and I need it back. You understand? You understand? Jeez. Are you got us low fat homies? What's up with that shit? Did you bust the door? Shit, I didn't do that. It was like that when I got here. It's like you fools had a break in. I'm hungry as a motherfucker, man. Yo, know, this cereal champ me some chill shit. I haven't eaten for days. Man, you know, I just came by to get my supply. Where you been? Shit. Doctor, I just those punk ass bike cops, man. I had to kick it on the DL for a bit. Yeah, I was taking out my homeboy faders for a few days till they fucking popped my ass, man. You know his girlfriend's a bitch ass slut fucking whore bitch. And she called the cops, man, straight up. Been in county this whole fucking time, man. Got released last night and hitched her right here. What happened to your face? See, I like to say is I was eating pussy, but I'd be lying. Man, I ran to these buses I do business with and shit. Yeah, but I kicked their asses. 
Hey, so I need my shits now, homie. I got a lot of business in the next couple of days, you know what I'm saying? I got it. Cool. Yo, it's my life, blood. But I wasn't worried, because I know you're my homies. You guys got my back and shit, right? John. Yeah, one sec. Man, I owe these busters, man. If I don't deliver, they're gonna bust a cap in my fucking dome piece, man. No lie, man. Hey, so what the fuck, Hans? I can't find it. Hey, don't fucking tell me that shit. Fuck no. Let's find my shit. Steven. Steven. It must have been. I mean, don't fucking tell me that shit! He was here oh. the other day. He must have taken it or something. You fucking motherfuckers! What the fuck? You think I'm stupid? Huh? The fuck should I believe that shit for? Why would he fuck me over if I'd have fucked him over first? He said he was bailing any day. He didn't care how he did it. That's not my motherfucking problem. You're supposed to watch my back. And you think you can fuck me over and expect to just chill? I don't fucking think so! Motherfuckers. Fuck. Fuck that. I'm gonna get on my fucking way, bitch. What the fuck you score this shit at, huh? Huh? What the fuck with these shit? What the fuck? What about these shit? Steven has to be around here someplace, right? We'll get it back. Can you y'all fucking better get it back, believe me? Shit. Get right. the fuck down, on. You ain't going fucking nowhere. Yeah. Alright, here's the shit. You go find that fucker and get my shit. And you fucking oh. better get it, you understand me? Okay, okay. And if you don't, I'm gonna flip your fucking cap. And then yours. Fuck, fuck out of here, bitch. Fuck you looking at, white boy. Uh, I need to shit you, Jack, right now. What are you bad one about? Look, it's my fault for what happened the other night, but JT needs it back now. It's not my problem. He's gonna kill Johnny if he doesn't get it back tonight. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that, but it's not like the guy didn't deserve it. He's like, fucked up. Johnny, how I really feel, and and I was I was wrong the whole time. He he really he really does care about me. So yeah, I, I had the best time tonight. I really had a lot of fun. I'm gonna get you a cake tomorrow. I I, I gotta go. You always get so emotional on your birthday, you know. Um, I love you a lot. I love you too. <laughs> hold on, hold on, all right? All right, hold on. Here's another one I heard inside, all right? All right, what's the difference between a slut and a bitch? Come on, man, what? All right, man. A slut fucks everyone, and a bitch fucks everyone but you. <laughs> man, you have no sense of humor, homie. Here, homie. Put that on your dome. Hey, put it on your head. Thank <laughs> you.
Alright, alright, don't, alright, don't move, don't move. <laughs> you look so fucking stupid, don't, don't move, man. I swear to God, you look so stupid. <laughs> Fucking soup. It was it was tomato soup. He put the can on my head and he shot it off. We gotta go. Let's go. Come on. Wait. What? What? Wait. No, shit. No. Wait. So, so cold for July. I'm freezing. care for someone but I'm happy I got to care for you you're a special person you're a special person to me it was what I always wanted what I always hoped I mean I didn't think it was gonna be like how it was but it was perfect it was perfect for me Johnny I've loved you a lot. I've loved you a whole lot. And I know you care for me too. It's gonna be okay. Alright? It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna go get some help. Alright? No, 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 no. Don't, don't leave. Just, just stay here. Keep me warm. My, my pocket. Good luck. Eric. 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 No, come on. Come on. Come on. Eric, no, I need you. Come on.
Phoenix. All departing passengers should proceed to gate 10 immediately. destination, sir. You can't leave without a destination. Boys like another drink? I'll have another beer, darling. Me too. Be right with you. Why everybody is looking back to the drama totally way and more racing action. Well, it's your beautiful day. And Chuck, I gotta tell you, the petty team's been putting on the pressure all day today. Well, you're not kidding about that, Bob. You know, coming off an 11th place finish at Talladega last week, they hunkered down and grabbed the number two spot in qualifying and trailing only five-eighths of a second behind the leader, they've dominated today's race. Harley Hebert is not a happy camper and knows he's got to make it up on his next pit stop. And with less than 10 laps to go, that should happen real soon. The 43 car has just pulled into the pits and crew chief Jerry Powell looking worried. Oh, you bet he is, partner. With three-eighths of a second to gain, this has got to be picture perfect. Harley Hebert's crew chief has just signaled his driver into the pits. And what? Wait, wait a second. Looks, looks like we got a tire rolling into pit road. That's exactly what it is, and one of the crew is running over to deal with it right now. <laughs> I wish I could see the expression on Jerry Powell's face. Oh, that boy earned his six-pack for the day. You know, that was a seriously close call. Didn't hurt their time much. Well, Hebert's team did lose. Yeah. 
Hard to swallow! 